Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Carnivore Territory Free Room for LEGO Jurassic World. You can see on the left we have a couple of requirements, the same old, same old, just complete the story and free play. But this one also actually requires you to have a custom dino, but we'll get to that in a second. And uh, we find a couple of characters floating around in the area as well as get a few gold bricks for completing tasks. And uh, so... Now that we mentioned, we're uh, we're going to go ahead and show you. We're going to open up the Carnivore Territory kiosk, and you can see there's a handful of items, especially in that enclosed area. Inside that area, there is no dino spawn, so you cannot create any big dinos, but there's a point where you actually need a roar. So we're going to go create a custom dino. I suggest you do the same. Go ahead and teleport to the visitor center. We'll go on inside, and as soon as you get inside, we'll actually head to the left and go all the way over to this door over here. Now, once you get inside, huh, go ahead and jump on the pad in the middle of the room, and it'll give you uh, kind of our options to choose what type of dino you want. Now, keep in mind, it has to be one that you can spawn from your character selection wheel. So we advise something small like, you know, a Gallimimus or, you know, in our case, we use a Velociraptor. So we're going to choose the Raptor. We suggest you do the same. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to circle through and find the head. Once we find the head, we're going to actually add the T-Rex head onto it. So kind of confusing, and it doesn't really look very, that much different, but it is different. You can see you could add different heads, but we're going to go with the T-Rex head, and we're going to leave it in the custom Velociraptor. I was kind of confused in what I was doing here, so I double-checked to make sure I got a custom head here. And wait for it. All right, we're, we're confident we're good. Oh, look at that. Booyaka Shao Trophy Achievement went and made a new dinosaur. So lucky for us, we uh, got that added to our list. Hopefully you did too. Now, on another note here, we're going to go ahead and test this out. So in the bottom right-hand corner, you might notice there's these custom versions of the dinos. You can see all the different ones there. We're going to select the custom Velociraptor because that's the one we need. So any of those down there should be able to be have... You should be able to add a T-Rex head. How about that? That was a little hard for me to say. And uh, Now, before you leave, we have accumulated a few red bricks along our pathway. And, you know, this is where you or one of the places you can purchase them. So we're going to go ahead and buy the 8X brick, which will then give us a 16X with our 2 and 8 turned on. And we're going to cruise through and see if there's any other ones that we have unlocked. Ooh, the 8-bit music. That's a good one, huh? We'll go ahead and add that, even though our music is turned off for copyrighted purposes. It is a fun one to add, so go ahead and make sure you turn your bricks on, and let's roll back out. We're going to go right back to the, uh, I guess, entrance here, but we didn't really need to do that. You just need to pull up your map and teleport to the carnivore territory. All right, we got our custom dino, and we are ready to roll. So we're going to start off, as per usual, by getting the bricks on the outer areas rather than being on the inside. And to do that, it's uh, there's actually a vehicle hub spawn that you might have noticed. And right to the left of it, there's a banana tree with a target in it. Go ahead and select your favorite tracker to go ahead and shoot the target, grab that banana, and track it down. I don't know, what's this banana going to bring us today? Oh, look at that, it's a watering hole. We'll go ahead and use Ellie and her watering can to go ahead and put some water on and shine some life, that is. The camera gets really weird and gets all close, I guess, based on where we were standing. But hey, we were standing where it wanted us to stand. So once you get the flower up, boing your way to the top and booyaka shall. Gold brick is now yours. Now, if you keep on down the road a little bit, you'll find this big old door that's shut. Well, you can actually open it by shooting the old charge pad on the left. Once it opens, you see it's kind of dark in there and scurry, so we switch on over to Timmy and pull out his goggles that actually allow us to see in the dark. So, oh, look at that. We not only get a gold brick, but we can also purchase the engine lab technician who happens to be in the area. So now it's been brought to my attention. We don't need to purchase those. Uh, you are supposedly able to purchase them from the character menu. To be honest with you, I still haven't even tried. But, uh, you know, you maybe can try it and let me know. If the ones that have a lock symbol on them, you're able to just purchase at any time, then you don't have to worry about coming back to these areas if you missed them. But moving along, as soon as we get inside the gates here, we can see that there are a few items. And uh, the first we notice is the compi tube in the very back right of the area. So we're going to go ahead and shoot the tube once. And that actually switches the tube and allows us to get in on the left-hand side. So we can sneak on through into the middle piece there. And once we're in the middle piece, switch back to your character with the gun. Or you could use Lex and her softballers. A few characters you could use, I'm sure. 
And uh, regardless, shoot it so that the compi can make it all the way to the red button. Once you press that button, the door opens and the gold brick is accessible. So we'll go ahead and grab it because, you know, why not? And uh, all right, so walking around in this area, you'll probably run into the Jurassic Park Warden. So 35K is not a lot to go ahead and add them to our list, and it'll help us just a little bit with our percentage as well. So getting closer to that 100%. Now, uh, see this ember brick right there? Amber brick, whatever. Uh, that's actually what you're going to have to use the custom dino for. And it's actually for the red brick in this area. So you can see there's this guy over here by this giant Lego egg is what it looks like in a nest. And he tells us that there's three little eggs scattered throughout the area that he needs us to go grab. So we're going to go grab two of those right now. The first one is right around the corner, actually, hiding in some shrubs. We use Alan and his raptor to go ahead and uh, raptor claw, that is, to go ahead and rip it down. We grab that egg and return it back to Buddy here. And uh, then he points out and says, hey, there's another one down there. Well, you might notice there's some twirly poles on the side here. We're going to go ahead and switch on over to a raptor so we can pounce that raptor pounce point and actually rip down the power and actually turns it off for us. So now we just need a character with the agility ability to twirly pole our way up to that egg. We're going to go ahead and grab that and, of course, return it back to Buddy. And once we do that, this is where your custom dino is going to come into play. So if you haven't already gone and done that, you're going to need a custom dino to roar your way. Unless you found another way. If there's another way to do this, please let us know. Uh, as far as we know, that you have to actually go and create a dino with a roar. And uh, we did that by using a velociraptor body and a T-Rex head. And we showed you that at the beginning of the video. So O oh, to the yeah, let's go ahead and return this third egg and get our prize, which happens to be the red brick. And I'm pretty sure this is the red brick for the the attract studs i'd have to look at our trophy achievement guide again but i'm pretty sure that's the case so give that dude a smack and let's go ahead and roll on down the way here you'll probably notice that there's some more totem poles you can jump up onto on the high left side we go ahead and do that and we find ourselves a parachute point so we'll switch on over to billy and we'll slide on across with our parachute and grab that yellow slash gold brick and then we notice down below there's a stinky little trail down here. So we'll switch to our raptor and he'll sniff it out for us. And look at that. It's one smell to another. It's going to get you. Ooh, and this got a little confusing for me. I won't lie. There's a trophy that we have. I'm not sure why or what the reference is. I'm sure there's some sort of Easter egg here, but I'm missing it. Now, I shot it. I jumped on it. I pounced it. I did all sorts of stuff. I could not figure this out. Um, I ended up switching to a packy. And I used the charge, and watch this. Booyaka shout. Knocked it on down. So if you guys are having issues, go ahead and switch to the Packy or even a baby triceratops, something like that. It'll get the job done. And uh, maybe you have a custom dino with a charge ability, too. You never know. But essentially, you're going to have to switch back to a raptor and follow that trail a little bit further. And it actually leads us 1z, 2z, 3z right to that gold brick. And uh, speaking of Packy, we're going to need him one more time to go ahead and run along all the way to the back corner here and bust through that crack in the wall there, which actually gives us access to this little kind of little compy arena. It's like a fight club. We didn't even know about it because nobody told us about it because obviously they're following the compy fight club rules, which is you don't talk about compy fight club. But once we uh, show them who the real fight club owner is, we go ahead and collect our gold brick. All right. Now, we're getting pretty close to the end of the video here. Um, if you haven't already, you can use the quick link to go ahead and skip on out of here. But uh, we actually have, what do we got here? We got a race for you. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and use a, a, a dinosaur with a charge ability. Packy seems to be our favorite. Now, watch out. If you have another dinosaur out right there, you will run right into him. It actually took me three times to get around him. And uh, anyway, that's a whole other story. But uh, if you're having issues, just switch to a humanoid and your packy should run right over the human and it shouldn't bother you at all. I think so anyways. I actually just walked around it before I started charging and that worked for me too. So, all right, we make a figure eight and all the way back down and around and the final one is right here, Booyaka Show. We get the checker flag and we get a gold brick. And then we also give a little, a little head bump to uh, our raptor there for a celebratory dance perhaps. I know that uh, often in sports you'll see athletes do like chest bumps. We might have done a, a head bump right there. But uh, anyhow, all right, we are now officially out. We're going to check the kiosk, but wait, there's more. You can see we were one gold brick short, and we saw that, and we're like, oh, no. So we go ahead and we find that and tag it with our tracker because we're good about getting these outer ones first, but we missed one. So we're going to backtrack all the way back around the bend here, and we can see that the gold brick is up top based on our location that we targeted there. 
but we're gonna smash through some shrubbery here and actually find a little mini door so uh, turns out it pays to be a little guy because we're gonna go ahead and slide on over who do we choose we got eric Oh, we got Timmy! That's right. All right. Timmy through the hole, and now we're going to tiptoe across the footbridge here. And we get all the way. Oh, and what's this? We got one more little mini door to go through. And when we come through this time, we see that there's actually some darkness back there. So we'll put on our night vision goggles. The NVGs work out well for the GOLD. You know what I'm saying? So we got the gold brick, and that actually will uh, complete all the collectibles for this area. We're going to go ahead and prove that to you right now. We got all the, we got the race, we got the red brick, and we got all the rest of the gold bricks. So, um, yeah that's gonna wrap up lego jurassic world carnivore territory free roam we did get all the collectibles and we really hope you guys are enjoying these videos this series has uh, been one of our favorites I, I would have to say this is a favorite movie saga as far as i'm concerned um the only thing that would be better maybe is back to the future but uh we'll wait and see what happens with that as for you guys head on over to facebook twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below we also have happythumbsgaming.com we also have g plus twitch and uh, what's the other one we got? Oh, yeah, it's Instagram. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be posting a bunch of pictures. I I'm not trying to leak anything out yet or, or maybe speak before I should, but hopefully we'll be getting some good pictures of some new up and coming stuff soon. Um, as for me though, for now, it's going to wrap it up as always until next time. I'm a monster. Rawr!